Let me get one more. Yo, pass another beer down because that was a lot. After that, I'm going to need one. So let's go through the card, right? Because double or nothing is going to be quite the experience. Listen, listen. All right. One, one more thing before we go, right? Before we get there. A lot of people have been fucking like crying a river on social media about this AEW thing. Cry for what? Yeah, oh, that they're going to die in fucking in two years. I give them two years tops. I give them five years tops. This is, they're going to do nothing. Oh, so what? What do they know about running a wrestling company? They're just a little bigger than a t-shirt company. They're a t-shirt company with a TV deal. Just a this little is, bit more than them. Son, people are so shut the fuck up. Do you not understand that more wrestling is good for everybody? Yeah. Do you not understand that like at worst, at absolute worst, this fucking AEW company does nothing. It affects none of your life. Has no impact on you whatsoever. Fucking ever. There may be a star that comes out of this. There may be some hype coming out of this. But ultimately, this may not affect you one modicum of your life. Woo! Not even a little bit. So who gives a flying fuck? On the other hand, this can be industry changing. It could be a whole new world for wrestling. We're talking about world. a place where wrestlers can own their characters. They can be given directive freedom, uh, uh, creative freedom to direct their characters in whatever way they want man this can mean everything or it can mean nothing for you to be completely like ha against this is irrational as fuck there is no common sense to hating this plan that's like being mad that your favorite football baseball basketball team has a minor league system why do we have a minor league system dude it fucking sets you up for the future or it can fucking do nothing either way deal with it because it could mean a lot. I think irregardless, this That's is not the a word, first. Yo. That's not a word. You're right. I bet you I can spell regardless, it. Regardless, at the end of the day. Because it's not a word. <laughs> regardless. <laughs> this is the first time we've seen this man a little nervous in a long time. I think he's nervous, but nah. I think he's taking precautions. But at the same time, I'm calling I also, that shit competition, dog. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they're going to take Bro, the, the, yet, the booking that they we've did. seen is yeah. the reason behind it. They, they called it competition at one of their meetings. They outright came up to the talent and said that competition was coming to them on uh, this Saturday. Yeah. Wow. They I were telling them to, like, yo, level up because we're getting competition, essentially. Stephanie McMahon said it, if I'm not mistaken. But... It's good for them. Good Listen, for them. There's because been many companies. There's been many companies throughout the years. But since WCW, we have not seen this type of... Of interaction with any company in the WWE. So this is the first time we're getting a sense of it, right? And not for nothing, Vince wants this to happen. It's competition. He knows the product will improve. Because remember, WCW had them at one point. I disagree with you on that point. I don't think Vince is looking forward to this. Are you kidding me? Vince I think sees so. The machine is going to continue running. I, Maybe, I but so. you could lose. There, these uh, the viewers that they have. They've been losing a lot. They've been losing a lot, right? But the one thing this brings to the table that we that I'm trying the point I'm trying to make is at the end of the day, they have had no one to compete with. Yeah. So with the people that are, are frustrated, they have nowhere else to really go. That they feel is at the top of the top, right? So now you have another product that's not gonna be airing on the same day. Of course, it's it's on Tuesday. Well, I mean, I know Fox is exactly. gonna be Friday. Yeah, so the competition itself is more of the comparison at this point. So it's gonna. It, it, they, I mean, yo, they're talking about realism. You know, they're gonna leak shit that they hear. They're gonna pull a lot of the stuff that we saw during the Monday Night Wars. They will be smart to do so. They will be Old incredibly school. smart. History repeats itself, right? We we had a a downtick in the industry when when the steroid scandal happened, right? I mean, we all love the new generation. We all love Shawn Michaels and Bret the Hitman Hart, Big Daddy Cool. But that was the lowest, lowest drawing like group of champions that you had in the company. Yeah. It wasn't until Ted Turner and Eric Bischoff, even though no one really wants to give him credit, started spending the cash. And fuck they got, is that guy? <laughs> they got Hulk. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> they got Hulk. They got Scott Hall. They got Kevin Nash. All of a sudden, competition creeps up. What happens? The product gets better, right? Same scenario right now. We're in a downtick. Right, ratings keep on coming in lower and lower. Fox is freaking out. They're saying they will cancel if they don't start hitting uh, higher ratings. AEW shows up. 
it's at least a little spike in the adrenaline, right? It is. You're never more alive than you want to watch it for comparison's sake. Is what you're saying? People are nosy as fuck. Bro, they just just to just to see what they do. The worst thing that that's can happen, eyeballs right there. It's something new, right? It, people are curious. People are thirsty. You said you said before that this the era we're in now felt like the new generation era back in the nineties. Yep, mm. like we're in that transition phase yeah. where now comes Great. the more edgy product. Now this is the time. we've been talking about this for about a year now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. like the transition of an era. Like mm-hmm. we're yeah. feeling it, and it's hard. It's hard to like. Like, it's a microcosm, like, you're in it. It's hard to, like, wrap your head around it. But when you zoom out and you really think about what's happened in the last year, yo, are you doing my, like, sign language version of this shit? Like, are you like that bitch that was doing the <laughs> fake sign language? You remember that shit? No, no, we got we got fans that, you know, use the... We, the the, the, the yeah, thing things? The thing things? Yeah, you yeah. subtitle thing things? Yeah, yeah. No, but, son, Vince does Evil. not want... Vince no quiere. Vince does not no want quiere. this beef. Listen, carne. he does not. The <laughs> worst thing that can happen for the WWE right at this point. <laughs> this said carne, no quiere carne, eh, be italiano. Nah, listen, pretty chubby Franco wants the carne. Listen, the worst thing that can happen <laughs> for WWE. I got a lot of carne, trust me. <laughs> Guys, so I'm chubby discount. for a reason. That shit is on discount, yo. That shit's about to expire, that ugly carne. This the worst thing that can happen. Ese bicho feo, turgo, turgo. The worst thing that can happen for the WWE is that. Fucking frita. Fucking yuca podrida over there. <laughs> <laughs> the worst podrida. thing that can happen to the WWE is that. You talking, I'm bored. Let's go. <laughs> Cara de papa majada over there. <laughs> I'll give you something majado, motherfucker. Yo, you know what's funny, though? We have yet to say a, a, a match. Yo, can we go over the card, please? 